guys, it's Kiyosha and Elia. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, thank you so much for tuning in. All of my new subscribers, I see you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. I'm assuming that most of you are here for the fibroids content and so you're in luck. Today is going to be my first conversation on fibroids in under five minutes. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be addressing some commonly asked questions, especially during the initial conversations that I have between myself and you know somebody else who's inquiring about fibroids. Um, since I shared my story and my journey and experience with fibroids, I've had a lot of people DMing me, writing me on Facebook, um, commenting on some of the videos here on YouTube. So I just decided to address some of those questions and try to put some informative information out there informative information i think i said that in another video you know what i'm saying informative content out there so that you know i can help people as opposed to just sharing my stuff i feel like i could just kind of do both the first question that i normally get from someone about fibroids is what is a fibroid a common name for a fibroid is a well, a technical medical term is a myoma or a leomyoma, and it is basically a benign tumor that um, typically grows in the pelvic region of a woman. So they're usually not cancerous, but they can be very problematic. The second question I get is who gets them or, you know, why do they happen or whatever. Uh, I think the jury's still out on why they happen. Um, I do know that three to four three out of four women in their lifetime will get a fibroid. So that's a good 75, 80% of people, which is pretty high. Although they're not normal, I think they are very common. Um, I don't think they're really heavily researched. So even when you speak to gynecologists and you know medical prof professionals, sometimes they don't know a whole lot about them either. The percentage of women that tend to get fibroids is much higher in minorities, African-American women especially. So that's kind of interesting and it makes me feel like obviously that there is a hereditary element that comes with it and also maybe even dietary. I mean, a lot of people, it's very controversial that people say, oh, what you eat has anything to do with you developing or um, just kind of making your, exacerbating your fibroid condition. So. I'm still doing some research on that one. I get back to you. The third question that I get is, how does a woman know she has fibroids? Well, number one, not all women have symptoms. You can go your whole life and not even know you have them. The second thing is that your doctor can discover them during your annual, semi-annual gynecological exam. So that is very important. Don't be skipping that. Make sure you go. Um, the third thing is, well, Let's just talk about the symptoms. Like some of the common symptoms is heavy bleeding, bleeding into in between periods, never stopping bleeding, very very painful periods, pelvic pain, lower back pain. Um, let's see, some people experience a, a weird like discharge, um, weight gain, heavy blood loss, which could lead to anemia. I think I got them all. Oh no belly distension like your belly starts getting big and you start you swear you pregnant sometimes people's periods stop it it's it could be very different for every woman I, I had them my mom had them our symptoms were only overlapping a little bit we were very different in how we presented with our fibroids and symptoms I just wanted to address those three questions which was what is a fibroid who tends to get them and how would somebody know that they have them? In the next video, I will be addressing some other questions and probably like, I'll try to keep it at like two or three. Um, if you have a question that you want me to address, please go ahead and drop that in the comments section. Again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't done so, go ahead and do that real quick. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, so make sure you share this video with any and everyone because Fibroids are very common, but a lot of people don't know much about them. So hence me making this content. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video.